good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, depending on watching this video. Depending on you watching this video, it's 8:30. I'm riding through Cheadle to start my ride. I'm not going to tell you where I'm going to go because this is the fourth week that I've been pushing every weekend, and I feel like this is the week that my legs feel the heaviest. So let's see how it goes. I can, however, tell you I am going to cycle, and I am going to cycle out of England as long as my legs can carry me. Uh, I will share my nutrition that I'm eating. So this is another solo ride, so I'll be giving you hints, tips, snippets of things that I've learned for the time that I've been on the planet. I've done lots of different things, some good, some bad, but you always, always learn from experiences. So watch to the end and I'll share some of my personal experiences. This is a massive problem. When you go riding on your own, it's almost like therapy, especially if it's a long ride, because you get to think about all the daft things, amazing things, different things just spring into your head. And it's time for me, personally, just to relax, give myself a little bit of therapy. So, I've just done 10 miles, it's 39 minutes, and commute has taken me down this little route that you can see behind me. Whenever I use commute, it always chucks in the odd pathway. Um, how am I feeling? I'm all right. Legs feel a little bit heavier than usual. And I feel like I'm in zone three. My heart rate's quite high compared to what I'd like it to be. Um, but if you know, last week, I was keeping the heart rate low. I'm trying to do the same again because this is just my long endurance ride, but I feel like I've got a Garmin uh, heart rate monitor, by the way, so it's quite a fairly accurate thing. But I feel like my heart rate, mm. Mm -mm. I think I've just eaten a fly. So I feel like my heart rate is up, and even though I slow down, it's staying up. So I don't know if I'm tired or something like that, but anyway, I'll talk about that in a bit. Really great path. Morning, sir. Don't regret not calling your family and friends. You know, before it's too late, go and do it. Call them, buy them gifts. You know, take them out for a meal, be nice, just be polite, send them a message, call them, do anything. Because all of a sudden, before you know it, it's gonna be too, too late. Anyway, I've done 10 miles. I'm just going for John and Massey now. What time is it? Um, it's uh, 42 minutes into the ride. Just chilling, enjoying it. Look at that. Beautiful little waterfall there. It's been 15 miles. It's been an hour, I've passed Lim Dam, first banana. First nutritional thing on, on this ride. Anyway, it's a bit windy, I know if you can tell. Just, so, so just on the back of that 15 miles done, just over an hour, my average is 14 and a half miles an hour. Today it feels so much harder. Last week at this point, I was averaging I think 17 miles an hour, but I'm not making excuses. I'm just saying my legs are really tired today. I had a midweek interval session, which was not too bad, but I did some weight training on my legs, squats, lunges, RDLs and all that sort of stuff. So. I think a lot of power midweek when on the leg workout. I know, I know I shouldn't have done that if I was gonna do this ride. But like usual, I didn't really plan this ride until uh, this last minute anyway. Morning! If you ever see me on the road, it's compulsory, it's compulsory to say good morning to me, good afternoon or good evening, depending on what you feel like. Just another, another quick check. It's been an hour. Have I snacked on something? Have I drank enough water? I'm aiming for about 500 mil every hour. Um, and then a couple of snacks. So 
long as I can do that, I'll be happy. But you have to remember to check that you're taking enough water. Otherwise, all of a sudden, you'll dehydrate and it's too, too late. Quickly, got my uh, bottle refilled. It's an hour and 20 minutes, got my bottle refilled. Cat and lion. Oh, there you go, that's my first bottle. It's been 20 miles, one hour 24 minutes, one hour 24 minutes into the uh, into the ride. Average is 14.3. I feel like there's a massive, massive wind um, that I'm fighting against. Oh look at that! I don't know if you know where I am. It's a windmill there. It's really, really windy today. So I've done 20 miles, I'm gonna give a little chat now. What have I been thinking about the last 20 miles? Do you guys know that analogy between friends and a tree? If you do, just skip this, but I'm gonna be as fast as I can. Sometimes when I'm psyched, I think about life, I think about family, friends, finance, health, long-term goals, spiritual, mental, physical. So today I'm gonna to talk a little bit about friends, just in this snippet. So friends, are all different and I'm gonna use tree analogy. Sometimes friends come to life and they're a bit like leaves. They come for one season, the wind blows and they disappear, that's it. They're only here for a short time. Sometimes friends come in your life with a bit more like thick, thick branches. They last a little bit longer, they're a bit stronger. The wind can blow and it doesn't knock them down. But if the wind's strong enough, it breaks the branches, okay? So they come for a little bit more than just a season. Some friends are like roots. No matter how hard the wolf blows and blows and blows, it will not blow the tree down. So some friends are there for a long time. I used to overthink things and go, oh, why did that friend come in my life and disappear? I really want to be friends, this, that, and the other. Now I just think, you know what? It's okay. If it's not meant to be a long-term relationship, a friendship, fine, come in for a bit and go. Anyway, I gotta carry on. I thought I'd share that. I don't know what more way this is, but it's a nice day. Oh yeah, it's been 20 minutes, so I've got to eat something. I nearly forgot, so I'm having one of them cereal bars. It's cashew nut and blueberry. I always get the ones with a bit, of, a, a little bit of yogurt. Just adds a little bit of moisture in my mouth. Like, oh, wow, that feels nice. I'm having this now at 20 miles. I've got a break point at 26. So, at 26, I'm probably gonna have something a little bit more delicious. Oh, it's windy now! Bloody windy! Ah, I'm fighting this wind, god damn it! Ah. God damn it! Where are we going? Yep, We're going towards. Towards. No, we're not. I'm gonna turn off on the road eh? I can tell we're in some beautiful parts. What's going on here? Chester. Okay, we are going towards Chester. Okay, this is a. Whoa, oh! Oh, eh? Yeah. Whoa! It's been 25 miles, one hour, 45 minutes into the ride. Average 14.3. I'm feeling really, really good. I feel like my, I feel like my rhythm has been found. I'm just going into Frodsham now. The Frodsham Bridge in front of me right now. Freaking hell, I've just done over 25 miles and I'm looking at my Garmin device. It's starting to say recalculating route. I'm on the right route, nothing's changed. I've not pressed a button or anything. Oh, I am gonna buy a new Garmin because this one is updating, but I hope it'll crash on me today. 20 minute cafe break at 26 miles, the tea cottage. Really nice, the 
woman was friendly. What did I have? I had a green tea with honey. Um, I'm gonna limit my stops to 20 minutes maximum because I end up sitting down, enjoying the sunshine. So that was 20 minutes, stop. And it felt like, it felt like I only stopped for two minutes, but that was generally 20 minutes. Thirty miles gone exactly, two hours and seven minutes. Average time is fourteen point four miles per hour. I'm just on the other side of Frodsham, thinking about it's August. I try and review my goals on a monthly basis, just to make sure the whole phrase out of sight, out of mind. As long as I'm thinking about it, I'm seeing it, I will push towards that goal. I know many people who set goals and then don't look or review the goals regularly enough. And then they forget the goals or they don't hit the goals. I believe you need to think about the goals regularly. It needs to be in the front of your head otherwise you won't hit your goals. I'm asking myself, why, why do I cycle these long distances? What's the benefit to me? Now you gotta ask yourself, am I going Chester Zoo, the Blue Aquarium, or am I going further afield? It's been 35 miles, Two hours and 30 minutes, average speed is 14.2 and I can't remember if at 30 mile or um, I, uh, I know my uh, stop was at 26 but I've uh, got a couple of sandwiches, what is it, uh, cheese, tomato, mm. cheese and tomato, oh yeah, so I'm going to stand here, five minutes stop, probably it and then carry on the road, that's the plan. So I'd like to say, there's several benefits to her riding, for me personally anyway. One of them is, and it's a really important one, it helps keep me fit and healthy. And all the research that I've done tells me that if you're fit and healthy, you're gonna have a better quality of life. If you're fit and healthy, you're gonna have energy to do all the things you wanna do. If you're fit and healthy, you can do more things with your friends and your family. I certainly want all of them, as well as, you know, enjoying the scenery. That's really nice too. So there's so many benefits. Good morning. And I get to say good morning to so many people. These are just a few of the things. Hi fellas. Oh yeah. <laughs> okay, we're at 40 miles exactly. Two hours and 49 minutes rolling. I've done 14.2 miles an hour. And originally, my legs felt really, really heavy. Now that I've done 40 miles, this sounds crazy. I feel quite Quite, quite loose, like I could probably cycle a bit more. Oh, hold on. But this route is now taking me some off the beaten uh, kind of track thing. So, oh, look at that. You don't want to look at me talking about how cycling's going. Oh, me. Oh. That's what you want me looking. Anyway, so I've done 40 miles and I feel a bit loosey goosey. Forty-two miles, I'm crossing the River D. The River D baby. Thank you very much. Morning. 
Morning, gents. Wales, Flint. I think this must be one of the high trees on here. I'm at 48 miles at Coffee Cafe. Um, filled up both of these because they're running low. And I'm gonna chuck one of my energy gels in one of the bottles. Why? Because I don't like having them directly in my mouth. It doesn't agree with my stomach. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna have it in one of the bottles. I'll keep it going. But I'll show you what I'm gonna have in a minute here. Go on, something, something tasty. I've just um, put the brightness all the way down and I've disconnected the Wi-Fi and everything to try and get a little, squeeze a little bit more out of it. Hopefully I make it to the end, but I doubt I will. I'm gonna end up having to use my mobile phone again for the room. Just had my coffee stop at 48 miles. Nearly halfway now, not even halfway yet. Just started to go, but I made a bit of a blunder on this particular ride. I'm trying to stay less at the coffee stops. The first one I only stayed 20 minutes. I think it was about 19 minutes. This one I ended up staying 35 minutes or something like that. So I've lost a little bit of time. So that means, well, I'm not gonna go any faster because hopefully I get to my destination and I'm not even halfway yet. And uh, so it goes, but I had a delicious, delicious coffee and a carrot cake. The carrot cake was, I'm not even kidding. The carrot cake was soft and moist. Sometimes I get a carrot cake and it might have been left there, you know, drying out throughout the day, but this was a really, really good piece of carrot cake. Genuinely. I'm only smiling because of it. But I can smell like, like a burning smell now. Anyway, that's the view in front of me. Let's see where how far I get. 50 miles into the ride. I'm three hours 37 into the ride. 13.9 miles per hour average. It is incredibly, incredibly windy today. If you watched last week's one, you'll know I was absolutely flying at 16, 17 miles an hour average by the time I did 50 miles. But today, it's incredibly windy. The weather's out. It feels absolutely beautiful. Genuinely, I thought I was going to struggle a little bit more. However, I'm doing quite good. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. And yes, I do say good morning to almost everybody. Yes, everybody I see. Just a quick note, now past 50 miles, I'm going to be letting you know my average speed, my distance, how I'm feeling. And I'm adding a bonus one called Boom Check to let you know if I'm tender, if I'm sore, how I'm feeling. Why am I adding that? Because I recently bought, I got a new bike and I got a new seat. What I should have done, the mistake was, I should have kept my old seat, but I didn't. So now my body really is getting used to this new seat. And I did 96 miles last week. I was a little bit tender, not too tender, but a little bit tender. The week before that I did, I don't know, 60 yard or something like that on the weekend. And it wasn't so bad, but I'm just building time in the saddle now. So if you're getting a new bike, keep your old saddle. So important. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, oh my God, I'm in insane low back reach. And I'm only just past Halfway-ish, no. I'm about 60% done. Ah! Ah! I'm not making it up, but luckily, I've got my phone with me and I've got a power bank. Because last week, I forgot power bank. My Garmin died 
and I was down to single digits on my mobile phone, so I learned a valid lesson. Bring a power bank. <laughs> Have you watched Forrest Gump? Well, I've come to the end of the world. This is me and my bike. I've come to the end of the world. What do I do? Do I just turn around and go to the other side of the end of the world again? Or not? Because I've run from, I've cycled from one end of the country to the other end. What do I do? I'm at 60 miles, time to break out. The Bakewell Flapjack. Um, this is a slightly unscheduled stop. Normally when I'm eating stuff like this, I just rip it open and have it on the bike, but the wind is absolutely battering me. Um, I'm kind of on a dual carriage, as you can see here, just stopped off. I really love this kind of olden style lamp stuff. Anyway, I'm on this dual carriageway, and the wind is just absolutely battering me. Let me just see if I can zoom in and you can see some of the trees moving and stuff like that. Can you see it? That tree is just wobbling like mad. The wind is absolutely horrendous. So I'm just taking a, maybe, maybe three to five minutes while I have this, and then I'm gonna crack on again. Oh yeah, the stats. So I've done 60 miles, four hours, 22 minutes into the ride. 13.17 miles an hour. It's really slow because I stopped and I messed around a little bit and I didn't um, uh, put my watch on stop. Um, oh, shock it. Hold on a minute. Bah, 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 bah. Uh, my bum is a little bit tender, not too bad. The rest of me is all right. My shoulders, my back, all that sort of stuff's fine. So I think I am going to make the end, but my Garmin device was on 20% when it said low battery and now it's saying 13%. So yeah, it's one of them things. If I ever get a baked well tart cake, I'm probably healthy. I actually scrape off all the ice cream off the top. Um, because it's, it's just pure, pure sugar, but honestly, it's flapjack. <laughs> it tastes so good. I think because I'm dying at the minute, that's probably why I'm not dying. Static caravan, static caravan, static caravan. Welcome to Real. After 64.38 miles, 4 hours 42. This is what Real's like. Caravan Central site fees from 2,999. Holiday homes from 19,995. Holidays from 999 pounds. Move in from 7 day time. Yeah, this is Wales. This is Real. I think the beach is just on the left hand, sorry, the right hand side is the beach. And I'm just carrying on down here. It's gonna be cafe o'clock soon. Kite Surf Cafe. Hello. Oh, yeah, baby. Ooh. 66 miles exactly. Hope the cafe's open. It says, oh, and we have joy. Superb, superb, superb. Five miles, well, 66 miles. I've come to my cafe stop here, which is called Kite Surf Cafe. It's on the beach. I'm tired, I'm cold, but I want to go. It's bizarre, there's some flags over there. I can see the Welsh flag. I can see the Bengali flag as well and the Spanish flag, look at that! In real, I love it! I had too long of a break. I shouldn't have stopped that long at that cake, the uh, Kite Surf Cafe, but it was such a chill place, it was just so nice, but that's a mistake. I shouldn't have stopped for so long. But the sun was beaming, having a hot drink, such a great place to relax in. Anyway, better carry on going. I don't know what bridge this is, but 
clearly it's a it's a big fat bridge. Really nice bridge. Yeah, just really quick at the cake at the kite surf cafe. I filled up my water bottle and I chucked a gel in there. One of them carbohydrate gel so that'll give me a good amount of food as well. 73 miles in and I'm asking myself how do I end up in these situations? Um, I'm not going to tell you what the situation is but I'm in a situation which hopefully will resolve itself and uh, the situation taking a little bit longer than I wanted to resolve itself um, but what a beautiful view back into a back onto a normal road the situation has been resolved thank god for that hiya you alright oh, look at the sea look at the blue clouds Come up 75 miles, 5 hours 30 minutes, moving time average 13.6, bum feeling okay, Garmin device is actually on 0%. Hiya! So hopefully, let's see what happens. I'm pinching myself. Is this actually the UK? Really? This looks absolutely stunning. This does not look or feel like I'm in the UK. It feels like I'm somewhere abroad. The sun's coming down. I can hear the waves crashing in the background. Beautiful tarmac. It's clean. This really doesn't feel like the UK, but I'm in Wales, Wales. 79 miles, the Garmin device is finally dead at 79 miles, uh, 80. So I got about 30-ish you know, about miles, something like that. Um, and, and there's quite a few turns at the end, so um, I'm gonna have to pull out my phone every, every handful of minutes, so that's not really gonna be fun, is it? 79 miles, 80 miles, who cares? 80 miles is gonna be the banana. I'm having it half a mile early. Might as well get the job done. These love birds are doing their thing over there, but you know, let's give them a little respect. Give them a bit of privacy, let them do their thing. So anyway, where were we? Yeah, Garmin's dead. My Garmin Phoenix watch actually said low battery. <laughs> <laughs> ah, it's fun again, isn't it? 80 miles gone. Six hours moving time. 13.13 miles per hour. My bum is absolutely fine. Not sore at all. Feels really, really just normal. I don't feel sore or anything like that. Um, Garmin device is dead. I'm now using my mobile phone. But I do have a power bank. So that's not the end of the world if the phone dies. I can charge it up, but I've only got the connection for my phone. I didn't get the connection for my Garmin device, but hey ho, it is what it is. Oh, hills, hills, hills. Oh, just climbing this hill here. The town of Conway. And this is a lovely Conway castle. Five miles, six hours, 25 minutes, 13.2. I'm just feeling absolutely fine. Garmin is now dead. I'm just on the, on the other side of Conway and I've come across this absolutely stunning marina. Looks absolutely beautiful. Look at that sky. Amazing. That's how I'm going. It's 85 miles. 
the sea is immediately to my right. And then we've got huge, huge mountains to my left. And on the left, it's some kind of caravan park, static caravans. If this isn't living the life, I really don't know what is. Beautiful, beautiful scenery. Relatively clean air. The beach. Oh, this is living the life. I think that is my last break point before I go further afield. Oh yeah. Feeling good, I'm feeling strong. Look at that. 90 miles, six hours, 45 minutes, 13.2, 90 miles near the end. That means it's snip o'clock. Mm. Cafe's closed. It's Sunday. Wales, a lot of places are shut that I didn't expect. Just over 90 miles, just short of seven hours moving time, average 13.1. And I'm going over these pathway things because I'm on the side of the tunnels. I don't know how long this is going to last for. Obviously, the length of the tunnel, maybe a bit more. You know you've come to a foreign land when locations have got a name like that. Damn. 95 miles and I'm on, I'm on a monster of a climb. Seven hours, 21 minutes. Moving time, average 30 miles an hour. Boom, absolutely fine. Garmin's dead. I'm just using my phone to navigate. But at 95, I'm on a colossal climb. Hopefully this is the, uh, the downhill bit. This is the, Far, far in the distance at castles with dragons. I'm going over there to slay the dragons on my horse. The trek. The Mondai or something like that. I cycled over a hundred miles now and there is a particular reason why I have cycled a hundred miles. And that reason is coming into fruition in the next couple of minutes. I'll share with you shortly. Oh yes, I came to cycle over the Menai Bridge. Here we go. Now I would say that is a very good reason to cycle a hundred miles. Oh yeah. Iconic bridge. I have actually driven across this once before. For me, it's a little bit of nostalgia, sort of going to places I went to many, many years ago. Now I cycle there. I feel like I'm getting some of my youth back. I don't know if that makes sense. 